Today I'm sharing a typical day in the life as an entrepreneur who has a balanced life. Now the reason why I'm focusing on having a balanced life is because something strange happens when people become entrepreneurs. They go from working their nine to five jobs, having a bit of work-life balance, to going absolutely crazy working every single hour that they are awake. Now this is very ironic because one of the main reasons why people become entrepreneurs in the first place is because they want freedom and they want more control over their lives and what actually happens is they just fill their entire lives with their business and one of the main reasons why they end up doing this is because they are very scared of losing it all. They are scared of not making it. They are scared of becoming a failure because they don't have a salary guaranteed every single month. So what you do as an entrepreneur determines your success. So you might not have any money at all coming in if you don't make it as an entrepreneur. And people apply the same logic to working on their job as working on their business. And they think the harder they work, the more they will be rewarded and the more success they have. And because in a normal job, you get promoted when you demonstrate that you're working hard, but that's not how it works in entrepreneurship. And it doesn't have to be how it works in any aspect of your life, actually, when you take into account principles of manifestation. I have burned out myself from overworking. I have had debilitating health problems as a result of working every single hour that I'm awake and putting far too much emphasis on trying to control everything in my business. So I totally understand how detrimental this is. And that's exactly why I am so passionate, passionate about having a balance in my life and encouraging other entrepreneurs to do the same. So how do I make sure that I have a balanced life? I do this because I know the principles of manifestation. I know how to manifest my success and I know that what I want is on its way to me. I don't have to worry about it. I'm not in fear because I've proven it time and time again that it works and I've got a system that works every single time and that's why I can enjoy my life. And People might say, well, if you can manifest what you want, why do you bother working at all? And I work because I enjoy it. I work because I feel fulfilled. I like the sense of achievement. I like the sense of feeling like I'm helping people, making a difference, helping people to transform lives. That makes me feel good about myself. I love to create things. I love to create training. I love to create content. I enjoy all of that work. And if I was just lying on the beach, 24 seven every single day of the year, I would get bored with that. I would be itching to get stuck into a project. I really like my projects. So that is why I work. I work because I enjoy it and we're all the same. We all are here. We've got the same kind of needs as humans. We, we need to feel like we are being fulfilled, that we're helping people and that we've got a purpose that we are living through. So that's why we work when we can manifest what we want. And part of what we want is helping other people to achieve that same thing. My name is Kath Kyle and I lead the Hustle Less, Manifest More movement. I help creators and change makers manifest a massive audience and transform millions of lives by creating a magnetic movement using my proven dream business framework. So yes, so manifestation is a massive part of my mindset, keeping my life in balance as a, an entrepreneur. So now that I've shown you what my mindset is, I wanted to share exactly what a typical weekday looks like for me and the kinds of things that I normally do each day to lead a balanced life. So I generally work five days per week, Monday to Friday, but I take vacations at least six weeks of the year. Whenever my husband has a week off, then we all have a week off together and we do really fun things like camping. So during the day, Monday to Friday, I start off with my morning routine. Now, my alarm clock typically goes off at 5.45 a.m. 
but I generally wake up just before that because I have programmed my body clock to wake up just before my alarm clock so I wake up naturally which is nice and what I do for about 15 minutes now is I generally lie there and create some reverse memories and I'll explain a little bit more about this at the end but basically this is my manifestation process that I'm carrying on from the previous evening where it starts so I'll get to that later on and show you exactly what they are but basically I am creating new memories of what I want for the future. When I start to wake up a little bit more I will go into the bathroom and get ready and I'll either listen to some brain stamps which are my I am affirmations or I will listen to some motivating training or motivating speakers. After that I make my way into the lounge and this is where I do a relaxing morning routine. So I either go into the lounge or I go onto the terrace depending on how warm it is outside and then I will either just sit and look at the view and feel a lot of gratitude for all of my blessings and then I might do some reading, some training, some journaling, whatever I feel like really, whatever I really want to do at the time. And I typically allow about an hour for my morning routine and this is my me time during the day. This is the only time slot I get when all of my family members are in bed and I just get that silence and that lovely time on my own to do exactly what I want with no interruptions. Then about at seven o'clock, it is the kids morning routine time slot so I go and wake them up, get them ready, make their breakfast, pack their bags for school and then I take them to school. I come home, I'm usually back um, these days around about 10 past 8 which is earlier than it was which is nice so now what I do is I will do a workout at this time so I'll either go for a run, run around the local beaches, I think we have five local beaches here and I will on, I do that on three days a week and on two days a week I do a weight training routine with a sandbag and then after that I will go for a walk. Lately I've been walking a lot with my husband which has been really nice and I've really enjoyed that. Then I go and have a bath um, while listening to some more inspirational speaking and then I am ready for my day. So I usually start work between nine o'clock and ten o'clock in the morning and what I have started doing lately is I have started by eating the frog. Now Eat That Frog is a book by Brian Tracy that I read many many years ago and I didn't follow it to the letter at the time because I couldn't really take his advice because what he suggested doing was doing the important things first, the most important things first and also the dreaded things first and he assumed that people were putting off the most important things first and that's why he encouraged them to do them first. So I kind of took his advice in a little way. For many many years what I would do is I would start with my most important jobs first and I, I really love these jobs. I don't put them off. I'm not a procrastinator. I don't procrastinate by checking social media, by checking emails. I get on with my work. I do it. I complete it and I really, really enjoy it. And the, I just lose track of the day, lose track of the time and um, the time absolutely races by. So what tends to happen with me is say if I've started the day with creating content or creating a training or doing some kind of project work, writing a sales page or something like that, usually by the end of my working day I haven't done anything else that is on my daily to-do list like my admin stuff, my email inbox and what would end up happening was my email inbox would get completely overcrowded I would have thousands of emails in there, I'd feel totally overwhelmed, I would feel like I'm letting people down, like I'm not responding to important messages from people that really matter to me. So what I decided to do instead is I'm going to do my things that I tend to procrastinate with first and I call this my admin routine. So I actually start the day with my ad admin routine. Now it is good advice, good advice for most people to start their day by doing their most important things first, their project work, because most people do procrastinate that and 
also most people tend to lose energy. They've got most of their energy at the start of the working day. However, I find that my energy is consistent throughout the whole day. I don't tend to lose energy towards the end of my working day. My working day is very short anyway, so I, I have my consistent energy throughout the whole thing. So it doesn't matter to me which order I do things in. But now that I've started doing my admin first, I just feel like I'm completely on top of things. So I feel like I've eaten the frog, done the thing that I tend to procrastinate with, and then I can really get into the project work and enjoy that as a reward for eating the frog first. So I start with the admin routine first, which means I clear my email inbox, I clear my social media messages, I reply to my clients, my customers, anyone who has asked me a question about any of my programs. I make sure that I'm helping all of my customers. I check my stats from the previous day and I log my sales. And another thing I tend to do is record a very short video for social media. I actually really enjoy recording the video, but I don't enjoy posting it to social media. So I do tend to procrastinate that task as well. So I tend to do that at the same time. And all of that takes around usually between 30 and 60 minutes. And then I'm often ready for my breakfast, which is two large green thickies, which are my complete meal green smoothies, which I based my first business on. I still drink them. They still give me so much energy. And then I am ready for my project work. And this is the work that I absolutely enjoy. And I often start this around about 11 o'clock. And I normally just do one thing every day and I continue it until the end of my working day. I work on this one thing for a few hours, the time that I've got left at the end of the day, and I just take one thing every single day. There are usually round about 20 working days in each month and I plan out every single one of those days so that I know exactly what I'm doing in advance. I don't need to wonder what I'm doing. I don't need to worry about what I'm doing. I really enjoy having my time planned out. I'm not the kind of person who gets stressed with having a routine. I love my routines. I love organization and I really like to have things planned out that I enjoy doing. I've been doing these kind of tasks for well over 10 years now and if I didn't love them I wouldn't continue to do them. To me it's just like planning out my fun weekends. I plan what day trips were going on. If I didn't plan them, we wouldn't do them. And I feel exactly the same about my work. If I didn't plan the fun work that I want to do, I probably wouldn't end up doing it. I don't know what I would do instead, but if I don't plan things, they don't tend to happen. So I'll just run through all 20 days with you so you can get an idea of the project work that I do and which one task I focus on every day. So on day one, I do my first of the month admin work. I record my stats from the previous month and do my reflection journaling. On day number two, I plan a new product that I'm going to create and I also plan my free content that I'm going to put out the next month. On day number three, I plan my marketing schedule for the next month and there's a few admin tasks related to that as well. And on day number four, I write a sales page for my, my new product. On day number five, I plan a webinar to promote my new product. On day number six, I record my new webinar for my new product. On day number seven, I create a content piece for the next month. And I do that the same thing on day eight, day nine, day 10 and day 11, because I want to put out at least one piece of content per month. When I'm creating products, I tend to put out one content piece per month and when I have created my entire product suite, I might re increase that to two content pieces per month. On day number 12, I write all of my emails for my email list that I'm going to send out for the following month. On day number 13, I plan all of my social media posts, my captions, what text is going on the images and how that relates to what I'm promoting and when. On days 14 to 17, I work on a new product. I create new trainings and I also create new trainings for my memberships. On day number 18, I create new marketing materials for my new product. I create ads and images for promoting my products. Days 19 and 20 are what I've allocated as catch up days. Sometimes the work might extend longer than planned, but sometimes I 
might even take these days and do the next month's work in advance, especially if I've got a vacation planned. I might do things like creating new funnels, updating courses, updating old blog posts and sales pages, etc. And then when I'm getting close to the end of my working day, I normally go and grab my lunch, which is either more green thickies or some porridge. At this point, usually around about 2.30, I will leave home and go and pick the kids up from school. I'll bring them home. Then I'll do my kids home routine where I'll sort out any kids stuff that needs to be done, like buying new clothes, organizing school things, doing admin tasks for the home, planning out what we're going to do at the weekend, etc., etc. And then I will also make the dinner and I make the dinner from scratch. Normally we have cooked vegetables, something like tofu or beans and some kind of sauce and that tends to be the typical evening week weekday dinner. The four of us will eat our dinner together at the dinner table usually around about 5.30 looking out over the sea which is a beautiful view and I really enjoy that time. Then after dinner we all go for a walk together along the promenade which is right outside our house. Usually the kids will take their wheels, either their bikes, scooters, their roller skates or my son has an easy roller so they'll be on some kind of wheels, they'll maybe meet up with some of their friends, they might go to a play park which is there's two play parks right off the promenade and my husband and I will just walk up and down the promenade chatting about our days and other things and having a nice catch up which I really enjoy that time. Then we come back to the house, we do all our home routine chores, make lunches for the next day, pack bags, put washing on, fold clothes etc etc and then the kids will have a snack and then we'll put the kids to bed. Then once the kids are in bed that is time for my evening routine. So this starts it might be around about nine o'clock and what I tend to do is I will get out my journals. I've got two journals at the moment which I'm working through. The first one is my diary where I'll literally just record my day as it happens. I just really like to have a record of my life. And the second journal is the exciting one. That's the manifestation journal. This is my reality creation journal. And in this journal, I've actually got 10 sections that I work my way through. But basically, I'll just to give you a snapshot of the kind of things I do is I will write a list of boosters and a list of transformers. Now, the boosters are things, small things that I want to manifest that I don't really mind either way and which, whether or not they come into my life. I just write them down to prove to myself that manifestation works and to give myself some excitement during the day because the more things that you've got to manifest, the more excitement you have when you see those manifestations coming through. So I list those boosters and then on the other side the transformers and these are things that will really transform my life. Things that I really care about deeply. So big things, things that I think are big in my life. Then what I'll do is I will script a scene and I will create a reverse memory. So what I do is I take one of those transformers, just one of them, something that I want to manifest, something big for the future, and I will script a scene where I'm writing down a scene that will demonstrate that this has actually happened. So it will usually be a conversation with somebody where I'm telling them that the thing I want has actually come into my life. And it's a very, very short script. And this is where I'm creating a memory of the future that I call a reverse memory because I'm creating the memory before it's happened. So the order is reversed. And then what I do is I usually get ready for bed and I go and sit in my bed and read until I can feel my eyes closing. Then I will lie down, close my eyes, and then I will loop this scene over and over again, creating this reverse memory in my mind. Loop it over and over again. Most of the time I fall asleep while looping this scene, which is very good for programming it into your subconscious mind. And I will just loop it over and over until it feels like a memory, until it feels like it's actually happened. And then I'll just drop it and go to sleep if I've not already fallen asleep. And I often wake up in the middle of the night. And if I do wake up in the middle of the night, I'll repeat that process again. And I will also repeat that again in the morning. So now that you know that there is no point in overworking and it's good to have 
a balanced life as an entrepreneur and it's very possible to have a balanced life as an entrepreneur, would you like to know how to manifest a massive audience for your business? So the best way to grow a huge audience, get your content shared and attract your ideal tribe is to continuously encourage your audience to adopt a habit that will transform their lives. Once you have started to attract a group of people who are all implementing your suggested transformational habit, you have started a movement and a movement totally puts your business on the map and creates a massive amount of desire for your products. I have reached multiple millions in multiple businesses by creating magnetic movements and I am now revealing the secrets to my method in my free guide and you can get that by going to kathkyle.com forward slash movement guide and you can click the link around this content as well and for a limited time I'm giving you free access to my ultimate guide to creating a magnetic movement so go and download that now and another thing I wanted to encourage you to do is join the dream business mastery membership in this dream business mastery membership you can design your dream business based on your own personality, create crowd-pleasing products that transform lives, attract a loyal following who are queuing up to buy from you, achieve phenomenal and consistent growth, easily manifest all of your goals using my proven six-stage dream business mastery method. And this membership is specifically designed for content creators and online educators who are excited to manifest all of the results they desire and appreciate a balanced life of doing work that they love, making good money they actually have time to enjoy. And this membership contains everything you need to make your business a success. You will get access to all of my current and future products in this membership. And right now I have a special introductory price. So go and join that while it's still available. And you can get that by clicking the link around this content or you can go to kathkyle.com forward slash mastery. And now it's your turn to go and put your stamp on the world.